Zanzibar Butterfly Center, but I will let our brother right here introduce himself and uh, tell us more about it. My brother, welcome. Okay, my name is Pandu. I will be a butterfly to a guide here. Washing his eye, don't do 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 you see elephant shoe. You see there? It's the elephant shoe. Wow, yeah. yeah. Look at the one. Some called uh, ant eater. Ah. Ant eater. Yeah. Ant eater. Just we called sometime <laughs> Zanzibar elephant. Called Zanzibar. Uh, the small, like red, small with a long trunk. Ah. Yeah, that's called. That's about elephant because we don't have big. Welcome. Okay, welcome. Uh, we come to the, our, our cage. We put a different sort of butterfly here. But before we walk around to take a picture, let's give you more information for Brandon. See the butterfly. Look the different butterfly. That's why I'm called Golden Golden Bended Forester. Golden Bended Forester, the name of that one. Um, this is incubator. We put our. Uh, chrysalis or cocoon from the people. When the people bring to the center, we, we attach and stick with the glue, but naturally attach by their own. And then we keep in incubator in order to hatch. Okay, let's see how they, some of them hatching, some of this not. They're different salt, different species, you see? Then there's, oh, is that all we attach with glue? Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah. So you guys, anytime you come to Zanzibar, uh, make sure you come uh, to Zanzibar Butterfly Center and check it out. Man. Like, uh, all this, like uh, what I'm seeing today, like is just quite interesting. Very fascinating. Yeah, you see the new newborn. Oh. Yeah, newborn. Amazing, amazing. Uh, uh. <laughs> still, yeah, still baby. When they're ready, they go. Look at the diff uh, different species. Okay. Look at this one. So it's called blue, blue pansy. Come on, blue, blue pansy. Blue pansy. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, there's some blue. blue. Uh oh, you say still baby won't fly. Yeah. yeah, should take back here. So when they are young, they can't fly. Yeah, yeah, still baby. You know, when it come out from the pupa, from the pupa kids, uh, they come um, open with the crumpled wings. So, so they're hanging, um, pumping blood when they're ready. We we'll let them go. And this ones, they like. They look quite unique, you know. Yeah, it look like a, um, they have golden spots. Ah. Yeah. It looks like they have. You know, some butterfly they are poison, and some but non poisonous. Ah, okay. Poisonous just for um, other predator, not for human beings. Ah. And those non poisonous one, yeah. Poisonous one, all time they camouflage. Yeah, non poisonous. No, no poisonous one. Oh, they shining. Shining, the poisonous one. So, so you can say like these are poisonous. Yeah, not not for human. Ah. 
a non poisonous one, all time camouflage. Look like a leaf, like a dry leaves. You see, this is non poisonous. All time they hide. Understand? The poisonous one all time, yeah. You can see, is easy, easy to see. Okay. Question? Uh, in oil, stop the ants. Yeah, the ants eat our uh, butterfly. So, uh, this engine oil, uh, you put it here so that the ants cannot go and eat. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh. This is better than water. Uh. You know, water is time evaporating. Uh. This is doesn't evaporate. Amazing. Not, amazing. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh. Okay, well, let's walk around to see the different species. I really like the garden. Good one. Yeah. Thank you. So when it's raining, butterfly won't fly. They hide. Yeah. They're active when the when the sun shines. Also, butterfly shining. Active. We put, uh, you see, this is mango, um, better food for butterfly, but they prefer rotten one, not fresh ones. Yeah. This is mating ones. You see, male and female together. You see, look at the abdomen. Yeah, let, let's let's help them. Yeah, you see how they are hungry. So they're mating. Yeah, they make baby. They need they need to make more babies. Then. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, of course. After this, after mating, they lay eggs. Mm. You know, butterfly they lay on special plant, not any plant, oh. special ones. That's why we have people from butterfly. So when they have small breeding cage at home, it's about um, three meter round. The small cage grow the special plant for butterfly laying eggs. Uh, people, uh, farmers should go in the forest to catch female one. Uh, they are knowledgeable. N Ninety percent the female from the forest already pregnant. So they catch it, put in the small breeding cage. Uh, they feed nectar. When they're okay, flutter ring to find special plant to lay the eggs. And understand, they smell, touch, taste, butterfly, make sure this is correct plant, they put the eggs. People collect the eggs from their breeding cage, not from the forest. Understand? Yeah, so when they put in the small jar, few days open, they feed, with, uh, feed caterpillar with the right plant, caterpillar grow till two weeks, Caterpillar turning to chrysalis, a cocoon, bring to the center and get money. The money the people pay here and transfer, pay back to local when they bring their... Well, you guys like, uh, you know, that is, uh, you know, it's much better instead of cutting down trees. Yeah. Save the planet, save the oh, earth, man. Of, of course. Yeah. This is a good, good project. Yeah. Yeah, sustainable, yeah. Save the forest and the people make a living. Wow, amazing. Yeah, it's a good one. So thank you so much uh, for your time. Like it's, uh, I've, I've really learned uh, quite a lot of things today, new things about how uh, you know the how they breed, you know how they live their lives. You know the butterflies, man. Like uh, as you can see, like this garden is uh, very beautiful, very amazing. And uh, my brother, if anybody coming here, uh, you know, if anybody would like to come here and visit, also see the butterfly, learn new things, how can they reach here? Um, I mean, we can reach here. Uh, we have uh, internet, I think. We have a uh, um, sign on the road. So, f f from Stone Town, we have about um, seven kilometers from Stone Town to here. 
Yeah. Uh, also, we have entrance fee here. So entrance fee the six dollar per person. Uh, in shillings, fourteen thousand shillings per person. We have garden. You can see different salt in the garden. Okay. Thank you so much. Asante, welcome. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Asante. Zanzibar Butterfly Center. But I will let our brother right here introduce himself and uh, tell us more about it. My brother, welcome. Okay, my name Pandu. I will be a butterfly to a guide here. Washing his eye.